Jock Vakas here with a brand new model introduction today. Today we have Goldvarg's 1962 Chevrolet Impala SS two-door hardtop. Chevrolet introduced the Impala in 1958 as a top-of-the-line Bel Air, set apart from lesser Chevrolets by an abundance of extra chrome, flashy trim, and a greater overall length. It had two sets of triple taillights in the back, which became a hallmark for all Impalas for many, many years to come. The design was kind of polarizing. Um, some people liked it, some people didn't, but it set a new standard for equipment and trim in Chevrolet's. The 1959 model became iconic. All Impalas were large in a very 50s kind of way right through 1960. But in 1961, the domestic landscape for car design Change. The excesses of size and weight were set aside for a leaner, trimmer, something more elegant looking look and, and design. The lines of the car were a bit more smoother, may, maybe a bit more subdued. Uh, maybe the interiors were a little bit more subdued as well, but a lot of people thought they were more tasteful. Top of the line for the first time in 1961 was the SS model, which typically came with bucket seats, uh, console, not always, uh, but they had unique exterior badging, it had spinner hubcaps, stiffer shocks, just a great looking package. The model was re refreshed for 1962 with nicer interiors yet and had a brand new roof line for 1962, what they called a convertible look roof line. Now this is what Goldvarg has given us, a model of this 1962 car. Uh, I just think it's one of the better designs of the early 60s. Uh, it comes in ermine white over Roman red. And Nassau Blue, we've got the white over red one here today. I'm going to take a look at it. So let's get it on the table here and take, take a close look. We've been waiting for this model for quite some time. We've had all of those supply chain issues and, and uh, issues about getting things to the right place at the right time and lockdowns and that sort of thing. But they're here. We've had a flood of models from Goldvar recently, and they've all been fantastic. I don't expect this one to be any different. So let's take a look at it. So again, the finish, typical Goldvarg, it, it's just Goldvarg, it's just beautiful. Uh, the, the, uh, I, I'll tell you something, the lines on this car are absolutely incredible. Goldvarg always does a great job with fidelity, and this is, this is just, uh, they just keep getting better and better. Uh, lensing up front is fantastic, the grille is perfectly done. Um, I'll try and get a close-up on that badging on the grille so you can see. Uh, that this just another area that keeps on improving uh, right from the badging on the grill to the little 409 <laughs> replicas on the side they're absolutely fantastic the side trim is beautiful uh, the trim around the windows uh, it's all the scale the windshield wipers it's just an incredible look uh, looking at the back of the car you know that we got those triple tail lights right there uh, they, they've done they've done a pretty decent job of trying to replicate that machined uh, back panel to learn the car, not, not quite there, but it looks really good, and in, in particular in hand, it looks fantastic. Again, we've got that very delicate, very small badging back there. Uh, the wheels, now, you know, I've, I've been hard on Sergio on the wheels. Um, these wheels are really nice, and not, not only are, do they have dimension, do they have depth, uh, but they've got, they've got the colors on the, on the spinner. Hubcaps, they're just absolutely fantastic. You gotta look at them really close to appreciate it. You take a look at the interior of the car. Uh, this is another area where this car absolutely shines. The dash is almost perfectly replicated. The door panels, the, the steering wheel, the shifter on the floor, uh, the seats. I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful interior. If you're not looking at the interiors on your models, uh, in, in particular the most recent one, you're missing a, a real bonus because the manufacturers are working hard to get these interiors right and this interior is absolutely beautiful. This is a great model. I'm, I imagine the blue one's going to be just as fantastic. Well, let, let's go right to the five stars. Uh, we'll take a look at it here. Um, I'm going to give Fidelity a five. Trim, lensing, and badging. I'm going to go with a four on this only because that rear panel could use a little bit of work. Uh, but again, in hand, it looks really good. I don't know how they made it look like machine until you look really close. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a four on that. Uh, color, five. Interior detail, five. Wheels and tires, five. Value, again, they're $99. Sergio's holding the price on these. 
get them while you can. I guarantee the price is going to go up. They're going up everywhere else. Thank you, Sergio. Uh, it gives us a total of 29 out of a possible 30. Again, a near perfect model. This is, this is a beautiful model, and I think probably the greatest advantage of it is the value that we see here because it's just incredible for the selling price. This is a top of the line. This is state of the art as far as the, the 143rd resin models are concerned. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, do me a favor before you go and hit that like button down there. Leave a comment. That helps me out as well. I'd love to hear from you. I've been able to dialogue with some of you. Uh, love to have you as a subscriber as well. That's my take on Sergio Goldvar's 1962 Chevrolet Impala SS hardtop. Thanks for tuning in.